Hi students, welcome to third standard science class video session, lesson 7, the story of cooking food. In today's session, we are going to learn about fuels, stoves and utensils used for cooking food. Let us go into the session. In this session, we are going to learn lesson 7, the story of cooking food. Topic, fuel, stove and utensils used for cooking. To recall the previous content of this lesson, let us match the food items with the way in which they are cooked. Here there are four food items. The first one is labeled as A. They are samosas. The second one is labeled as B. There is a cake. The third one is labeled as C. There is milk. The fourth one is labelled as D, that is corn. Children, you should match these food items with correct method of cooking. Let us check our answers. The first one, samosas are cooked by the method of frying. The second one, cake is cooked by the method of baking. The third one, milk, is cooked by the method of boiling. The fourth one, corn, is cooked by the method of roasting. First, you are going to learn about fuels and stoves used for cooking. Children, you have learned that food is cooked by heating. Things that produce heat on burning are called fuels. Coal, firewood, kerosene or charcoal are used as fuel in a stove. Coal and wood stoves give out a lot of smoke and cause air pollution when the food is cooked in them. So children, wood, crop waste, coal, dung and charcoal are the most widely used cooking fuels but when they burn they can all cause pollution and breathing problems and in many places wood, wood and charcoal are scarce resources. So, many people are turning to other cooking fuels such as sunlight, processed plant waste, natural gas and biogas. Natural gas are used for gas stoves. Do you know children what is biogas? Biogas is a gas produced by rotting plant matter and human and animal waste. Now let us learn some more information about the fuels, firewood, biogas and cooking with sunlight. First let us learn about firewood. Wood is one of the best sources of fuel but it is scarce in many places. To conserve valuable forest resources and reduce smoke, use dry wood cut into small pieces. Biogas is a natural gas that is mostly methane. It is a valuable source of energy. By turning the organic matter in human, animal and plant waste into energy, biogas turn waste products into a resource less harmful to the environment and the community health than other fuels. You can use the sun heat to cook in solar cookers. Solar cookers require changing your regular cooking habits and many solar cookers cook more slowly than a fuel or a stove. But 
by using the solar cooker when the sun shines brightly and using the regular household stove at night or when the weather is cloudy you can save fuel nowadays gas stoves that use gas from cylinders or pipes are used for cooking hot plates and ovens that run on electricity are also used for cooking no other fuel is needed in this case a solar cooker is also does not need any fuel it uses solar energy that is the heat from the sun to cook food solar cookers save fuel and do not cause any smoke next we are going to learn about utensils used for cooking utensils are the vessels used in household for cooking storing preserving and various other purposes in earlier times utensils were made on various material was such as clay stone wood copper bronze silver gold etc the section of the material depended mostly on the purpose for which the utensils was used in desert area earthen utensils were commonly used whereas in areas with trees utensils made of wood were also used in some parts of india utensils made of metal and stone were also used in modern times utensils are made of iron aluminium or stainless steel pressure cookers are very commonly used for cooking food i hope you got clear information about fuel stoves and utensils used for cooking thank you students have a nice day